Hey guys, my name is Mackenzie, and today I have a 72 Datsun for you over here. Thanks for watching the LaFontaine Classic Car YouTube. If you are new, we're a classic car dealer right in downtown Milford, or part of the Motor City. We have a lot of cool rides coming in each and every day. So go ahead and hit subscribe. Feel free to like this video. That is going to get you in tune with when our stuff pops up first. So you get the first shot at it. It's a good play. I recommend you do it. Now back to this Datsun here. Killer car, it is gorgeous. I bet you the thumbnail pulled you in and you might not even be interested in owning this thing. That's fine, because we're gonna go through it. We're gonna cover the special car. We've got LS power plant, a T56. We've got an infinity rear end, Recaro seats, and this beautiful, beautiful pearl tricoat. Carbon fiber all over the place, air conditioning, and these Trofeo R tires. This thing is hooked up. Come along, we'll dive right in here and get you down with the nitty gritty. Hood release is right where you'd expect it on pretty much every car. And this latch here, this is where it's a little bit different. It's right in the center, but quite simple as well. Now you see the underside of this hood is all satin black. And that kind of puts up a nice little shield here for our, our nice LS motor. I've got dyno sheets to go with this one. It's not a crazy build. It's got a little cam. It's making about 400 horsepower. Um, you see the intake manifold has been hydro dipped carbon. We've got these LS1 um, coil pack covers done up in the same color as the body with the Fairy Lady Z. It's a very nice touch. We've got a pair of headers on here, a full stainless exhaust, nice little K&N filter, a custom aluminum radiator with a big polar fan on there. You see we got a Willwood power booster over here. Very, very nice. We got the Optimal Red Top. We even got strut bars in here. This thing's set up. If you were to peek down in the front, you would see the uh, little fabricated aluminum overflow for the radiator. Set up, set up. And not to mention, you know, there's a lot of wonderful things going on. We've got stainless hardware all over the place. Very proper and right. Now, we work our way around this car. We'll get to hear that, that V8 in a moment. The fitment on all these panels is so, so darn good. The doors open and close like glass, they like butter, the paint looks like glass. I'm fumbling words because this is an impressive car. I could talk about everything. You know, the little details of blacking all, all the trim out, the drip rails, the mirrors. Look at this. Even these are billet and they're probably the best feeling door lock I've felt. We have carbon fiber handles. The locks have been blacked out. Look how nice that opens. You see there's some stainless Fairy Lady Z door sills and these door cards are brand new. We even have the billet window cranks. It is damn near perfect in here. And check this out. Tight like a glove. This is all slicked back, blacked out as well. Our fuel door here. Some more blacked out goodies. That's a steel bumper finished in a carbon hydro dip. And then we have a real carbon little splitter up top here. Tail lights have been smoked a little bit. We've got a nice single exhaust coming out the back. And it looks very, very fly. All the sheet metal on that lower valance is perfect. Spot welds are all original. And take a look at our antenna and our other badge and the rest of all our bright work. There's a lot, a lot of detail put into this car and time on the little things and it adds up tremendously. And again, these Trofeo R's. I don't know if any of you guys have ever driven on them. Feel free to comment below. They're absolutely nuts. They got crazy grip um, right there with like a, a Hoosier, Hoosier slick. Momo wheel, Recaro seats, auto meter gauges, and like I mentioned earlier, a T56 six speed transmission with a nice billet handle and a lovely Hirsch ball on top. 
These Recaro seats are very, very comfortable and fit this theme and build so well. I'm gonna pop this open for you guys. They're really sweet. This thing even has two, I should pop the trunk, a roll bar in there that's paint match with the car as well, and then a rear tie bar holding those, sh those shock towers. And again, attention to detail, all matching hardware, all stainless stuff. Pretty darn sweet. Come to the boot here real quick. And I will show you that strut bar and that little back half of the cage there. So this is the, the top of our shocks. This tower is connected by this custom fabricated little bar in here. And then we have a roll bar, not in your way at all. You hardly know it's there but it is in another nice touch. And the finish in here on the carpet work is very nice. Everything, you know, the whole floor pan is covered in that Dynamat, keeping the road noise down, which is sweet. And then we've got a couple, looks like four by eights, little speakers right in there as well. And the deck, it's good guys. The seals are brand new. This is a hot little ride. Inside of this thing, all the shapes and forms are pretty much OE, even the way they have uh, Bluetooth radio and our vintage AC controls packed in here. It all appears pretty OE. This shifter out of a, you know, a, a GM muscle ride doesn't even look out of place in here. Our Momo competition piece is very, very comfortable. It feels like a brand new wheel. There's no wear on it and it matches these Recaros we're sitting in very well. Um, one thing to note too, these are adjustable, so one size fits all kind of deal. Um, have a nice little ashtray down in here, parking brake over here, and then a couple, you know, of kind of necessary touches fit into the stock gauge, gauge pods, but all autometer phantom gauges, they look really, really nice. They're all clear and all this stuff looks new. So that's going to be our oil pressure, water temp, fuel level, and then RPM and mile per hour. And then your standard cigarette lighter, hazards, and a couple others. Give them a shot, Joey, of this rear hatch back here. Those are those speakers I was talking about. And you see that little hole in the center? That is like a little sound box. That's kind of like a subwoofer. This thing makes good noise. It's not over the top, but it's kind of like a newer car. So they've pulled it all off very well in here. And now we're gonna go hit the road. we can include a, a clip of the exhaust or something that sounds really gnarly uh, the feeling in here in this tiny little car you can just tell how light it is 400 horsepower is plenty um, but normally I think what these have like a 1.6 liter or something of that sort probably making shy of 200 so this is quite a quite an extra bit of oomph and it is very, very fun. Let's see uh, if we can open it up here for a moment. We've got disc brakes on all four corners. Um, I believe they're 13 inch rotors. They feel really nice. The alignment on this thing's good. And then just the way the clutch and the transmission goes. A match made in heaven. that a couple more times. That's nice.
That's the beast. Hey guys, thank you for tuning in and checking this car out with us today. It is a very, very lovely ride, uh, done to a high level. If you guys wanna see anything more on it, reach out, the number is 248-714-2110. Also guys, in the description of this video, click it right at the bottom, I'm gonna put a link to view the listing on our website with all the pictures and all the details for you there. And then lastly, thanks. Feel free to check out our channel. We got a bunch of other cars. We love classics. We love JDMs, Euros, and of course the domestic muscles. We've got trucks. Check us out. I bet you we got something that'll catch you. Thanks again, and we look forward to seeing you soon.